Hey guys, Johnny here from WP Johnny to do a quick rundown of my favorite WordPress backup plugins. So I already have a guide written on this, but people ask me the same questions again and again. They want to know which backup plugins I like and why and why not the others. So um, let's talk uh, right off the bat, um, Updraft. I generally hate Updraft. So why? Um, okay, well, let's go right, let's get right to it. Um, Okay, great, it's already in there. Da, 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 da. So my thing against Updraft is this, it feels like trialware. Um, the interface is kind of clunky to me. It's it's like lots of, see lots of links, lots of options, colors, bars, and, and all that. Um, and then in here, there's like options within options. And then like half of it is locked out and then you don't know what's being backed up, what's not being backed up. There's all these helpful links that, for me, um, should not be there in the first place. Okay, so, uh, okay, and then of course, you know, it, they're, they're, they're constantly trying to sell you on the premium plan, and you don't need that. Uh, there are free backup plugins out there that do all this. But anyways, what's my first issue with Updraft Plus? One is that their free version doesn't back up all your files. It gets only the, the core WordPress files. Uh, but doesn't get like maybe other folders that are sitting in the same directory, you know, other, you know, like how we usually have other folders that are non WordPress folders sitting there. Updraft does not back those up. So right off the bat, hate them. I just, just don't like it. Um, and back in the days, it was a great, uh, you know, back in the days, it was a great plugin. Uh, um, it worked well, it was reliable and it cost a little money, but it was somewhat better than, you know, the other free ones. Uh, even uh, even though I never used uh, Updraft, I always used Backup um, Backup WordPress. Where is it? But this one has since been abandoned by its developer. They don't sell the premium version, all that. Um, but I was using the free version of this, and it was fine. Okay, let's just go straight to my favorite. And t -t 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 -t. where is it? Where is it? Whoops, not there. Okay, my favorite is BackWP Up, and I'll show you why. Okay, great, I've already got it. Agree, um, usually you don't see this screen after you've, um, after you've approved it the first time. And here it is, back WP up. So pretty much for backup uh, WordPress plugins, backup plugins for WordPress, uh, all we need is one, that it works, it backs up the database, it backs up the files, all the files and doesn't have errors, doesn't have issues, it's reliable. Number two is that it can be scheduled. Number three is that we can store it remotely. So most backup plugins out there, they charge you money for remote storage, but not BackWP Up. BackWP Up um, lets you do it all for free. Okay, wow, uh, this is kind of interesting. Um, before it didn't do this, be, before it like went straight to like jobs or something, and that's fine. Okay, here, I'm just gonna add a new job. And there it is, you have all your options here. Where do you want to store, what format you want to store it in. Um, schedule, okay, if you want to schedule it with regular cron or like a like a, an actual cron job. Um, for the database backup, you can even decide which tables you want to backup, whether you want it compressed or not. And then for files, um, you know, you can choose everything. You can also choose which ones to exclude. Usually we exclude things like cache folder and, and, and upgrade directories and, and whatnot. Um, and then also takes a nice list of your plugins and that's it. You hit save changes and then you can go back to the, the jobs page and then you run it. So back to BPL for the money, which is for the cost of free, is my very favorite uh, backup plugin. The other one I like is a WP Vivid, and I believe I, I've already got it on here. No? Okay. Well, let's just run through it anyway. Oh, come on. Is it one word? Is it two word? Nobody knows. All right. This is getting annoying. Ah, oh, here it is. So we have this one. Yeesh, sorry for the uh, the laggy internet, guys. Du, du, du. Okay. 
Now, you may have heard about like iThemes Backup or maybe Backup Buddy and all the other ones. Uh, what do I not like about them? Really bloated interface, like tons of ads. It's very spammy looking. They want you to buy the premium version. Um, they lock out features that other free versions, uh, that other plugins give for free. Same thing, this will allow you to save to remote storage. You can schedule it. You can do migrations and all that. It's awesome. Uh, the advantage of WP Vivid is that restoring with their script is really free. Auto migration is, real, is free. Whereas um, back WP up, the restore script, the, the the restore script isn't included for free, so you have to do a manual restore. It's not a big deal for me. I, I use it just fine with no issues, but back WP up is slightly more reliable. On most sites, large sites, weird sites, uh, poorly coded sites, back WP up is more reliable. WP Vivid, I use it like only to do like migrations and stuff to clone sites or or, or you know, to, to migrate sites when all-in-one migration isn't, doesn't work. Um, so that's that. Uh, you know, you, you get to see uh, how it looks and how it works. Um, again, I don't like to use the other plugins because they're just too bloated. Um, somebody also asked me about, like, Time Capsule. These are, like, rollback plugins where, yes, they can back up your site, but I think their features are more in the restore side, in, like, incremental restore, so to speak. Anyways, this video is getting long, so thanks for watching.